A Windsor man with a love of music has spent the last 50 years perfecting his craft in his spare time. Seven Action News photojournalist Johnny Sarton discovered that even a major medical setback couldn't slow him down. For 79-year-old Harold Robbins, working with wood has been a lifelong passion. So even in retirement, he spends hours upon hours bending and shaping and sanding his wood projects. And when he finishes, the result can best be described as magical. You see, Harold is a self-taught violin maker who has created musical instruments for over 50 years. I've built probably in the hundreds of instruments, not just violins, I do violas and uh, cellos. I built a few stand-up basses. They're all related to wood and their string instruments for acoustic music. Today, as he listens to good friend and musician Bill James, Harold is actually concentrating on how the violin that he created performs under pressure. I listen specifically for uh, mistakes in the instrument, like if he hits a certain note and it doesn't come through, I'll catch that. Harold got started in woodworking as a cabinet maker and began to take in work repairing wooden musical instruments. From there, his drive to actually make those instruments was born. Two years ago, the music took a dramatic downturn for the Robbins family. Harold suffered a devastating stroke that left his right side paralyzed. That's when his wife Shirley stepped in. I've become his right hand for him and just help him in general. Whatever he, he thinks or feels he needs or something that I think he, or feel he needs help with, I'll step in and help. But I try not to do it unless he needs it. Samples of Harold's work stretch across the globe. The more treasured ones line the walls of his modest Windsor home alongside other precious memories. They're like a human being when you get down to it. Um, some play easy, some you got to force to get out of what you want, just like a kid, same thing. It takes about 150 hours to perfect these family members, something Shirley knows all too well. I can remember the boys coming home from school and there'd be cellos and basses lined up in the living room and they'd have to step over the necks to come in through the kit to the kitchen. It may be Harold's hands that sand, bend and create, but it is his passion that shapes simple wood into music. Part of my life, the music. Part of everybody's, really. It's only a wooden box. And a lot of things can go wrong, but it's amazing when you hear them played, just what enjoyment there is in just that little wooden box. Johnny Sarton, 7 Action News. What a talent and what a labor of love for Beautiful. him. Huh? Just the fact that he makes them and plays them like that also. Yeah. I've known people who make instruments, but they just can't play them like right. that. Right. He can do it all. Incredible. Beautiful. Well,